Good evening, folks. I just got back from a trip where um, I made a good catch of crappie. I caught some big crappie. They was anywhere from about a pound and a half to about a pound and three quarter. Every fish that I stuck was a good one. Uh, they were slow about biting. It took me most of the day to catch them, but that's because we had a cold front that pushed through Tennessee Valley about three days ago, and the water was high and dingy, and the fish uh, were, were slow about biting, but we still caught them. Now, let me tell you this story. I just went ahead and done an outro, and I had about three hours left. So I figured, you know, I, I'm going to hunt me some shiners. I fish with golden shiners a whole lot. And uh, I learned to catch them. My daddy showed me how, a few little tricks to catching them. But uh, this is a, a little power bait grub, if you'll look at it. It's uh, about a half inch long with a, a size 10 hook. Or it might, might be even a 12 very very small and I fish uh, with it under a float now I don't fish very deep anywhere from a foot to 16 inches usually you can find those shiners that way if you know what to look for but anyhow I I'm not trying to bore y'all but I'm tickled to death about this the biggest crappie so far that I've caught this year on camera I caught on this half inch micro jig just a while ago fishing for shiners I was going to catch those shiners which I caught some but uh, I was fishing four shiners and a two pound ten ounce crappie grabbed this little jig and I just wanted to share that with y'all um, I've caught a lot of crappie on micro jigs but now this is micro micro I mean, a half inch. It might be a half inch long. And that little hook held that fish. Golly, bum, what a crappie. What a crappie. I tell y'all what. <laughs> This is a big one. When I set the hook into this fish, I'm going to have to be real easy with him. Real easy. Oop. Golly bum. Water crappie. The reason I'm going to have to be easy with him is because I'm I was fishing for shiners. Quit with a little micro jig right here, and this crappie hit this. I want y'all look at this. This proves one thing. Oh, come here, come here, come here. Look at there, what a crappie. We're going to have to weigh him. See what a little bitty jig. Now is that not amazing? Let's get it out. Get my pars. That is amazing right there. And this is a big crop. People are going to have to wait. <laughs> I'm excited, folks. This is a huge fish. Golly, boom. See that little bitty micro jig? Fishing for shiners. We're going to, golly, mom, I can't believe that. That's why I go fishing when I can, because it's good for me. And it's good for y'all, too. I'm going to lay him right here. We're going to measure him, then weigh him. But he's a gargantuan. I'm talking about. All right, to start with... This fish is, can y'all see that? 15 and three quarter. 
15 and 3 quarters. Now let's see what he weighs. Okay. Can y'all see that? 2 pound 10 ounces. 210. That's a big crappie. That's my biggest one this year. Let's let him go right here. Two pound, ten ounces. What a fish. Let's revive him a little bit. There you go. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. Now that was something else, wasn't it? That proves one thing, that crappie will eat the tiniest of things. If it's in front of his face long enough, he'll just open his mouth, flare them gills, and inhale that jig. Or manner. They eat little bitty stuff. I've always known that. But you know something else? Hey. I can't help it because I just had that adrenaline rush. Hey, man. Whoa. Whoa.